You know, I got interested in magic through kind of a back door. When I was a boy of eight, I, I saw a movie about a Mississippi riverboat gambler, and I didn't want to be a magician. I wanted to be a professional card cheater. It was a great movie, and it, uh, he had a Derringer hat and a frock coat and a brocade vest, and it looked so romantic, and I said, that's what I want to be, a professional card cheater. And I went out and I bought a book called Expert at the Card Table, and it teaches you how to cheat at cards, how to false shuffle and bottom deal and <laughs> second deal and all those wonderful things. And I spent four years trying to master as much as I could in the book until I came to the rude awakening there weren't too many places for a 12-year-old card cheater to work, you know, <laughs> unless you want to work for bubble gum and things. Uh, and then I looked in the back of the book and it said leisure domain, which was French for magic, and I, I learned how to apply these gambling moves to, to magic. But I've always been interested in gambling, so I'd like to show you a couple of gambling games. Now this one happens to be very, very old. Let me get this chain untangled. Uh, this is a swindle, uh, if you'd like to call it that. I call it a nice, honest, fair game. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, this was played on boats. This, day, this game goes back about five or six hundred years. It predates craps and blackjack and all the wonderful games. And it's a very simple game in that you, uh, you have only a 50-50 chance of winning or losing. So that's not too bad, you see. I'm going to show you. It's been called the Endless Chain, the Figure Eight. Uh, a misnomer is called Pricking the Garter because that was done with somebody's belt. It's a little different. but. Uh, and I've done this uh, with ladies, uh, double strands of pearls, and so you can do it with uh, anything as long as it's an endless chain. Now I'm going to show you how the game works, okay? You see, it's called the figure eight because it looks like a figure eight. Now there's a losing side and a winning side. You have to pick which is which, you see? Now I'm going to show you what a win looks like. Put your finger there, David. If I trap that finger, you see, with the chain and the end, that's a win. Okay. You may let go. You haven't won anything yet. You know, it's just a run through, for God's sake. So, now, I, I'm also going to show you what a lose looks like. I, I can put that win or lose on either side. See, now, put your finger in there again. Now, you see, that's what a lose wow. feels like. Okay. Wow. All right. So you see, there's a difference, yeah. and I can put it on either side. You see, now. I'm going to, th this was taught to me by a racetrack tout, but he never told me why you win and lose. I'm going to show you something that nobody ever gets to see, why you lose. Now, this is the lose over here. Put your finger in there for a moment. Uh, well, take it out, and I'm going to show you why, why you lose. You see, when you take that, you see that there's no loop there at all. There's the actual end. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now, so if you were to put your finger in there, and I were to pull, of course, you're going to lose. Now, who would like to play? Me. Good. <laughs> what do you want to put up, David? I'll tell you what. I'm going to make it nice and easy for you. I'm going to give you a gambling game you can't even get up here in Lake Tahoe or Reno or Las Vegas. I'm going to put up the money for you. Okay? I'm going to give you three chances to win. Okay. okay. Now, okay. You ready? Yeah. Here's the figure eight. Now, you have to guess which side the win is. Take a guess. Let's bet one of them. Yes, of course. I didn't think you were going to go on one shot with all three. Let's get a little hefty. I'll put it right over here. Okay. This one. That looks very good. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's a, oh. oh. <laughs> let's, let's. Thank you, David. Okay, let, let's try that again, okay, David? Here, once again. Now, you got that right. <laughs> David, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Put one finger in each one of those, okay? Okay. okay. Put one here. Now, now and one what, side is winner and, and one what, side yeah. is loser. Yeah. Now, raise, oh, no. raise one of your fingers. Take one uh, out of play altogether. Put it off to the side. Which one are you going to do? He's, he's, he's thinking about it. That's it. Wait a minute. <laughs> David, the game goes okay, a lot faster than this. this you know. one. That one. That one. Okay, David. 
Oh, David, I'm sorry. Oh. All right. Thank you, David. I'll tell you what. I put that back down. Uh, David. Yes. This is your last opportunity. Yes. But I, and I'm going to tell you something about the game, okay? You see, there are some people who think it doesn't really matter which one you put in. It's which one of the chains you pull. Mm -hmm. And they could be right. Mm -hmm. You never know. So I'll tell you what. We'll have someone else pull the chain after you decide which one the which, which figure eight you're going to put the uh, that one. Would you do the pulling? Which chain would you like her to pull? This one or this one? Pull this one. Okay. This one on the end. Slow. Oh, oh I think he's got it. Slow. Oh, David. Nope. David. <laughs> Uh, just so you don't go, but go home feeling bad, David, I'm going to show you something. This is the positive. You see, I'm going to come right around here like that. and I'm good. Now, that's a definite winner because you know that's the end, you see, and I'm going to prove it to you, you see. It can't be anything else but that, okay? Right. Right. Okay, we're going to do it again, all right? Now, keep your eye on it. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing like so. Put your finger in there. Okay. All right, David, here we go. One, two, three. David, maybe you ought to take up Mahjong. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you.